Hi, um, I'm going to do a video here just to explain the basics of this whole setup that I'm uh, trying to achieve because um, when I set out to do this, uh, I couldn't actually find this video anywhere that, that explains um, this technology in a, in a simple way because it's it, and it seemed very complicated and very confusing and there's, there's a complete overload of information in this space. So this video, I hope, will help someone who's uh, a beginner like I was a few months ago and uh, will help them uh, understand the basic idea in, in, in one video here. So if you're familiar with radio control aircraft, the best way to split this uh, is into three different, um, three, different, three different parts, I think. One is the, just a radio controlled aircraft. The second is the FPV camera system. And the third is the flight controller, the Raspberry Pi companion computer and the uh, mission planner software. So if you start with the, the radio control aircraft, you have a radio, you have servos, the battery, speed controller for the motor, radio receiver here. The servos control the flight surfaces on the, uh, the control surface on the aircraft. This is the aircraft I'm going to use here. You've got the motor at the back pushing here. And um, basically just with the radio, with this equipment here and the aircraft, you've got a flying plane. Now, you can't once you've once you've launched the plane, you need you need a you need a radio connection to the aircraft to start with to launch it and land it because you need very fine control um, of the aircraft to to take off and land. Um, now, once you've uh, once you've got the aircraft flying, the next step I'm going to do is to install the flight controller in the aircraft, but not have the flight controller controlling the aircraft. This is so that I, I, I can uh, record the logs of the flight controller f uh, flying in the aircraft and get telemetry information back to the computer. So that'll give me, a, that'll tell me my speed, altitude, heading, all this kind of stuff. Now, you can do that via this device here, which is a, uh, just a, these devices here, which is just a telemetry transmitter receiver setup. Now, that, that connects uh, the laptop to the flight controller, and then the flight controller is connected to your, to your uh, aircraft radio equipment. Now, you could put the flight controller between the radio and the aircraft equipment, but then at that point, you're flying the flight controller, and the flight controller is flying the aircraft. So you need to be very sure the configuration of this is exactly correct and all working before you do that. Otherwise, you'll be in for a bit of a short flight. Now the other the other part is the uh, FPV camera. Now this is just this little camera here is what gives you this view from the aircraft. This one is set up with a, what's called an on-screen display, so you've got flight information and uh, the battery level, all this kind of stuff on the on the camera view, which is very nice because you've got all the information live in one place. Now this camera, it, in my case, is going to connect to the the uh, Raspberry Pi computer. And then we're going to connect that computer back to the laptop, the ground station, via the 4G uh, network. Uh, this is a very good way, in my opinion, to do this. You can just use a transmitter and a receiver, but then you, you're limited on range. And the setup is, is actually more complex, again, in my opinion. So this is the basic idea of what you need. You could, if you wanted to get into this, you could just start with the the radio control equipment the uh, and, and a plane and a FPV camera and the Raspberry Pi and the laptop and then move on to the flight controller setup a bit later because if you've got the laptop and the FPV view once you've launched the aircraft you can fly it or once, you, once you've got enough altitude you can fly it from the camera easily enough um, you know once you've got familiar with the with the speed and handling of the aircraft and then you can add in the flight controller stuff later. Anyway, this is a this is a basic idea. You don't need anything more than is on this screen here. But if you want to have a full FPV uh, fixed wing aircraft, this is the, this is what you need. If you've got any questions about any of these components, this is exactly the equipment that I bought, by the way. So uh, the plane is the plane that I bought. These are very similar to the components I bought: the Raspberry Pi, the Pixhawk 4, and the this Tyrannus radio. 
and the laptop. It's basically the setup I've got. So if you've got any specific questions about any of this stuff or how it works, please contact me. Leave your uh, messages in the comments uh, under the video. And uh, please like, subscribe, share this video. Thanks very much.